Hello friends, today we will be preparing the complex hexakis thiourea lead 2 nitrate. It's a pretty simple and straightforward reaction between thiourea and lead 2 nitrate. Keep in mind the following precautions. Chemicals required for this experiment are 6 grams of lead 2 nitrate or plumbus nitrate, 9 grams of thiourea, approximately 60 to 80 ml of distilled water and 10 ml of 1 molar nitric acid. Start by weighing out the reactants. 6 grams of lead 2 nitrate was weighed out in a 250 ml beaker. Lead 2 nitrate is a colorless, crystalline, very toxic salt. It is also water soluble and could cause acute lead poisoning. Next, 9 grams of thiourea was weighed out in another 250 ml beaker. Now, 20 ml of distilled water was added to the lead 2 nitrate and 30 ml of distilled water to the thiourea. Both the solids were stirred up well to dissolve them in water. If you find it difficult to dissolve them, gentle heating could be done. In my case, heating was necessary. Since my hot plate is having some problem, I had to use a heat gun to warm up the contents. This method is very dangerous and could lead to serious thermal injury. I had to do this because I was left with no other choice at this moment. Once both the solutions are clear, allow them to slowly cool down to the room temperature and then add the lead to nitrate solution to the thiourea solution. The mixture should be thoroughly stirred while the addition of the lead to nitrate. Initially there is nothing much happening, but once most of the lead to nitrate is added, a white crystalline precipitate crashes out and it becomes very difficult to stir the contents. This is the crude crystalline precipitate of hexakis thiourea lead 2 nitrate. This coordination compound has lead ion in the center linked octahedrally with the sulfur moieties of 6 thiourea molecules. The crude crystalline precipitate somehow reminds me of vanilla ice cream. After 30 minutes of stirring and cooling in an ice bath, the precipitate was vacuum filtered. This is the crude product that was obtained. Now I'll be recrystallizing. For that I'll be using about 10 ml of 1 molar nitric acid dissolved in about 50 ml of distilled water. After heating to boiling hot, everything dissolves and the solution becomes clear. Now allow the solution to slowly cool to room temperature. Needle shaped crystals of pure product separates out. The beaker was then placed in a refrigerator to cool down overnight and next day more crystals were formed and it was filtered. The final product was about 8.1 grams of pure hexakisthiourea lead to nitrate. Now we will move on to the calculation part. From the equation, 1 mole of lead 2 nitrate gives 1 mole of the complex. So 331.2 grams of lead 2 nitrate should give 841.2 grams of the complex. These are the molar mass of the compounds. Therefore 6 grams of lead 2 nitrate will give 15.2 grams of the complex. And this is the theoretical yield which we obtain from the equation. The practical yield is the yield which we got after the experiment which was 8.1 grams. So the percent yield is practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 and therefore it is 53.2 percentage yield. That's all in this video. 
these are my patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that i am able to do more videos by purchasing new equipments and chemicals you can also support me via patreon or paypal the links of both of them are given in the description thank you for watching my video if you loved the contents of this video do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos thank you